ready for the racing emulation action. So when it comes to racing and simulation, there are so many different ways to go, but emulation is another cool way to play, not like this water back in the 90s. But let's talk about the racing wheel solutions and the emulation. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to take a close look at racing wheels and emulation and what kind of options do we actually have. We have all kinds of cool solutions, including this old school PlayStation 2 force feedback driving force of PlayStation 2 slash PC racing wheel. For another cool solution, it's going to be the Logitech G25 or G27, even comes including a shifter. Or another option I'm having over here, let's grab the old box. I had this thing in my storage for I think a couple of years now and is this Xbox 360 exit put racing wheel. So there are actually many different ways to go to. So that's one of the things we're going to be starting this video with. What kind of ways can we actually play? So in this first part, I just wanted to do a chit chat regarding the racing wheels, different ways to play, because there are a lot of different models out there from basic, almost 90s models that have no force feedback or rumble. We also have a kind of cool models now that are basic, cheap to buy and having some rumble feature or having the ones with force feedback. And also in that we have all kinds of different models with different kind of quality. I just want to do a quickly like overview of a couple of my favorite ones and that would be interesting for emulation also. But you can just use them for any games. But I made several reviews of these racing wheels because there was so much stuff that we can actually talk about. I just want to focus actually on let's say the let's say overall emulation performer. What can we expect from these wheels for the money but also the overall quality. The Hori RWA. This is absolutely a very cool nice quality racing wheel and budget wheel with no force feedback. I even seen they are using this in to racing arcades from China. And I can tell you everything is better than these like say cheap plastic wheels they're using on those cheap arcade machines. The Hori is a great let's say step into the racing craziness. And this is just a fun wheel if you don't want to have all the let's say fanciness or force feedback. Where I showcase the PlayStation 3 4 model, you also have one for the PlayStation 5 and there is also a version for even the Nintendo Switch. They've just released so many of these, let's say, Hori wheels and implementing them in arcade machines and not the official one, more like the one from China. And overall, the gaming experience, it's a lot of fun. Personally, I'm a fan of the force feedback, but if you don't want that, this can be a very cool, overall good quality option for not a lot of money and great for racing, PC gaming, but also when it comes to emulation. I also reviewed the Formula Force GP racing wheel. This is like a very old, let's say, force feedback wheel. I paid like 10 freaking euros for it. However, this thing does have force feedback and I can tell you the overall experience is, in my opinion, better than, let's say, a Hori. And you're not paying a lot of money for it if you can find them. This one is even complete in box. So that is one of those positive things. You do have a little bit of an, let's say, craziness when it comes to drivers, so you need to take consideration that this can be a problem. However, if you can get this thing to work, you can have a lot of fun. Where the force feedback, it's not the overall best experience, of course, because this was just a basic cheap wheel from Logitech itself. In my initial review, I've, let's say, noticed that it was a lot of fun playing some racing games. The force feedback was not super strong, but it was, it was there, let's put it this way. And if you're going to be combining this with some emulation and you can get yourself the force feedback ready up and running with some emulators, you can do a lot of racing hours of fun with not a lot of money and having even force feedback with it. So I think this is just absolutely an awesome way to play, but don't expect too much from this old racing wheel and also particular when it comes to compatibility with PC gaming. Another cool budget solution is going to be the official Xbox 360, actually the X input, let's say racing wheel. And it even has like force feedback. It is wireless and you can put it on your lap if you want to. So if you want to build yourself an emulation machine and let's say from a mini PC to your television and still want to have the racing experience, this can be a very fun way to play. Where the force feedback was so much better, like the cheap, cheap to the cheap Logitech wheel. We did have some good pedals, no clutch, so it's very limited. We do have some plastic flippers, nothing really fancy, but you do have everything that you're going to be needing. 
where this is actually an X input device, we did have an overall mixed experience with Windows PC gaming. And that's something you need to, let's say, set up every single time when we're going to be using emulators, Windows games, you name it. It's quite difficult to actually get this thing having like an overall perfect, let's say, force feedback and gaming as emulation overall performance or force feedback. So with this thing, I picked it up complete in box, I think not even for like around 40 euros. So this is super cheap and we do have like an overall great like ways to play. However, when it comes to that, again, limitations when it comes to driver, support and games. Logitech, it's still one of my favorite brands to actually use because it's a very affordable way to play. And the G25 is a complete kit with having a very nice high quality pedals, even a clutch, nice aluminium or metal flippers at the back having even a shifter and that's kind of cool and even have an option for like normal let's say six gear or having an option for like a shifter up and down nevertheless this is an absolutely great wheel when it comes to windows support and gaming i did notice you need to get yourself the right drivers but actually the support with many games i've played is absolutely amazing even this thing is very old I've been reading through the comments of my original review and noticed a lot of people were finding these Logitech wheels in pristine condition in thrift shops, complete with power supply and having a lot of fun for not a lot of money. Combining this awesome wheel with emulation or just Windows PC gaming, if you're going to build yourself a racing simulator, this can be still a very nice viable option. However, be careful if you're getting one with good force feedback because these things I understand do of the wear and tear and they age it is possible that some of them have broken force feedback so you always need to double check if you're getting the right one however the G25 it's an amazing piece of equipment for racing emulation but we also have another thing the Logitech G27 it's actually kind of similar to the G25 only with some improvements when it comes to the racing wheels. For example, we're having more buttons now and we have some cool new things that he implemented in this newer model. And also this one is not very expensive. But it's kind of cool that we have an RPM heater. It doesn't really work with every single emulator or at least when it comes to some, let's say I've tried out. But the overall experience is absolutely pleasant for just gaming and emulation itself. And it's another cool wheel and combined with the G25 or G27, both of them are great. Uh, they didn't change it with the shifter. So we didn't have like this option that we can switch between, let's say the quick shifter. That was a little bit of a downside, but they improved the wheel in many different ways. My first encounter with emulation was actually with custom arcades and this racing machine. But what is interesting that he went for the G29 Logitech racing wheel. Yeah, they're using licensed Logitech wheels inside their arcade machine. And that is for a good reason. This burning rubber was quite an interesting concept. And combining it with the new G29 is a smart choice. They are still making them now today. And you can just basically like get them and buy them and use them on many different PCs without any problem. And the software is absolutely great from Logitech itself. And configuring this with emulators is quite an easy task. And still have the force feedback support with many different emulators like Techno Parrot. So but what is interesting if you think about it, the Logic G29, which you can see over here, is made for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. Force feedback has been improved when you're looking at the first models, the G25 and the G27. Where you can use this thing with the right software on any PC with Windows. Yeah, that was kind of interesting to see that they're still using the same kind of pedals. But the shifter, you need to buy it separately. So that's one thing you need to take consideration. They're not like super expensive, and but they also change them out if you compare them with the number one and two from the older models Logitech G series. Logitech also released this G923. I want to be pointing out that I do love this True Force, but the main problem we're having with this brand new model that the emulators will not have like the best overall, let's say, emulation experience with this. So this is just particular for certain games that has the software and everything configured correctly. So you don't need to bother to buy this Logitech G923 with a simple reason, because the extra features that this thing will actually give you, or at least doesn't give you, because the software of emulation doesn't support the true force craziness. But if you want to get into the Logitech, I think the best one to buy is maybe the G920, because this one is particularly made for Xbox. Yes, and it has like the perfect X input situation going on for PC. 
where most of the Logitech racing wheels will work for PC for the ultimate and best compatibility. I think the Xbox version is maybe the better choice if you want to go for the emulation. Same pedals, same craziness. We don't have the true force feedback, but we just have the normal feedback that is just more than enough and works perfectly with the right emulator and the right configuration. Okay, we have talked about the different racing wheels, but how about emulation and racing wheels? So I went to the custom arcade. He has like a massive, let's say different kind of collection of arcade machines, but also one massive cool machine with a very cool build of, let's say racing games. It's just from purely like crazy PC that only is dedicated to racing. And that is perfect for this particular video. However, I did notice a couple of things I found quite concerning. And this is have something to do with the compatibility with, let's say, racing wheels and different kind of emulators. Where we can play all kinds of different games now with racing and emulators. The compatibility with, let's say, the wheels in general and the way how everything works. It's not always the best experience. First of all, dead zone and force feedback that doesn't work at all or it doesn't work great. And you know, if one of these things occur, it's going to be not an overall great experience. But let's move on to this custom arcade with the special PC in the inside, where this thing is completely dedicated to racing wheels and combined with the Logitech G29 and the shifter that has been connected and configured. However, when it comes to the Logitech G29, how are we going to be connecting this with the PC itself? What for PC you're using is all up to you. I would get yourself a quite a fast one in combination with a good GPU. And you have guys out there like the correctware over here, having completely built, even combining this with a PC and the right, let's say, encoder boards, we can set everything up. Of course, we do have a lot of controls on the racing wheel, so we don't need, let's say, an encoder board you can see over here. The arcade machine is using this for a couple of, let's say, things you can do in the menu or putting in a credit, because you can also do this with or without the racing wheel itself. The configuration can be custom, to the way how you're going to be setting everything up. But this is the way how it's been done inside of the machine itself. But let's deep dive into the rabbit hole of the emulation ways to play. So we have all kinds of different, say, interesting ways when it comes to emulators, from Techno Parrot, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, N64, Atomus Wave, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, all depending how much power you're having when it comes to the PC, and of course the PC games itself. I already mentioned before with the drivers and PC gaming, if you're going to be having the perfect compatibility in combination with the Logitech software, we have like excellent force feedback and a perfect overall experience. But when you're looking at the PC gaming part and also when it comes to, let's say, the emulation part, it's absolutely not how much stuff that we can actually play. And it's going to be absolutely blast, but also a blast to the past with many different games. However, take consideration the best compatibility is having with PC gaming and with a lot of techno parrot games because they will utilize the force feedback how it's supposed to be with logitech from n64 this runs absolutely great on these pcs so there's no problem whatsoever what we do need to take consideration is getting where i need to know where all the buttons are so we're going to be going for the automatic drive Okay, so when it comes to let's say, playing some games on N64, it looks absolutely amazing. We don't have the weird stutters, etc. But this is what I mean when it comes to having no force feedback and we have an absolutely crazy overall dead zone. You can just see it when you're just playing it. And this has to do, I think it comes because you're normally playing with a joystick and you need to be converting this to a racing wheel. Maybe we do have the option to adjust it a little bit left or right, but the general problem is just we have noticed this a lot when it comes to let's say, some emulators. Alright, so next up some Sega Dreamcast with some VJ Lante. So what's kind of interesting, we do have feedback, and this is exactly what I mean, is that we do have some minor feedback going on with some rumble. So that's kind of cool, that it actually works with the Sega Dreamcast game. So let's move on to some PlayStation Portable. So yeah, I already mentioned before, so like when it comes to the dead zone of this, oh man, it's absolutely massive, so we should do something about that. We can actually play it, so we use acceleration on the pedals, but can also use it on the steering wheel. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so getting into all the kind of emulators, I didn't have an overall great experience, but we're getting into some Techno Parrot. Oh boy, this is going to be absolutely a blast playing some Daytona. The force feedback in this wheel is going to be implemented perfectly in this game. 
Oh man. Now we can actually feel how good and how strong the force feedback of this Logitech wheel is. Okay, it's one of those crazy games that can be found on Techno Parrot. It's going to be one of those, let's say, crazy games like third dirt racing or something like that. Absolutely crazy, man. This graphical wise it looks amazing. Force feedback works perfectly. Another game I just wanted to check out is Hydra Thunder, just to see how it actually works. So what I noticed, like not every single game will be compatible with force feedback, and particularly when it comes to the PC games. This is a very old game, you can see it on the graphical stuff. I've been playing the Xbox 360 for a long time, but this one is so old school. But what I do notice that there is almost no dead zone, so controlling the vehicle is absolutely unpleasant overall experience. When it comes to playing games, I think when you're getting into Forza Horizon 5 and you're going to be adding your Steam games to this, yeah, this is absolutely the ultimate experience for playing some racing games. Forza Horizon is one of my favorite games to play. I'm just a Forza guy, but we actually are playing this. The Force feedback is perfectly like configured for this. You can just feel everything on the road, and this is just the way how you want to play it. Quite Techno Parrot is great. Also, the older PC games are great. Doesn't really help, by the way, my <laughs> doesn't really help my overall as a driving experience. But the thing is, it's absolutely amazing. And this is where the Logic Racing Wheels and this beautiful display comes to its full potential. Where there are so many different solutions, which one will be the best one for you? Yeah, that is quite difficult to say because of the different, let's say, models you can actually buy. I've read that a lot of people were getting like Logitech G25 or G27 for very cheap through the second hand marketplace. So you need to look around like which wheel is the one you want to have like with or without feedback or with only rumble function, you name it, all of those and very important factors you need to take consideration by actually getting into this rabbit hole calling racing wheels. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and it will be great to see you in the next video.